Today I am going to show you how I process Nebula in PixInsight and I'm going to use the uh, the Dumbbell Nebula as an example. So why don't we open up PixInsight? I've already got it open right here and I've already stacked um, the Dumbbell Nebula raw images and I combined it with darks and flats and bias pictures. So we're going to start from um, a stacked file with no extra processing in it. So <clears throat> I'm in uh, PixInsight right now and you might be looking at an orange dot. I can't see it from here but you might see it and that's what I'm actually using. That's the highlighted area of where I'm actually clicking. So I'm going to click File, Open, and you'll see I've got uh, two images saved here. One is stacked and applied with Deep Sky Stacker uh, changes, and one is just um, stacked with Deep Sky Stacker where the changes aren't applied. And I notice if the changes aren't applied, it preserves the color more, so I just use that. So I'm going to open up my stacked uh, raw image, and that's what it looks like. And right now, we really can't see anything, can we? Um, but the Dumbbell Nebula is in there front and center. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is take a peek inside this raw image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click on the STF auto stretch. And what that does, it doesn't really make any changes to the file, but it does give us a preview of what's inside. That's the way I think of it. And you can start to see my Dumbbell Nebula is in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Process. I'm going to go into Geometry and I'm going to crop my image with Dynamic Crop. And we're going to go all the way to the right here. And we're going to click this button. And now it's going to allow me to resize and crop the image. Not resize, just crop off the edges. For some reason, my, my edges, they just don't come out right. And maybe I've got a few problems with the way I take pictures. So I'm just going to keep the centermost area. And then I'm going to click this check mark here to actually crop. And there it is. So I've cropped off the edges and you can still see that the Dumbbell Nebula is in the center. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this, this picture bigger. I'm just going to click on this third option from the bottom here just to make the window a little bigger. Okay. So now I've cropped the image and now as you can see I've got a heavy thick uh, greenish background here and it's really clouding up my my nebula I really I need to extract this green haze out of the image so we're going to go back into process and we're going to click background modelization and we're going to pick the automated background extractor this is a really easy option to use click on that and I'm not going to change anything at the top. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here, Target Image Correction. And where it says Correction, I'm going to click the Subtraction option. And once I've done that, I'm going to click the Square, which is the Apply option. And what this is going to do, it's going to get rid of that green haze from my image. All right, now that we've done that, I've got a new image here. And here's the original image. I can close that. Don't really want that hanging around anymore. And this is the greenish heavy background it's extracted. And we don't need this background. It's, that's the garbage we removed. And now I'm back to a, a new image here. And it's unstretched again. So let's go back and do the stretch, the, the STF auto stretch, and take a look inside and see what we got. Oh, and there it is. You can definitely see the nebula is uh, front and center, very easy to see now without all that green haze. So, uh, but you know, I've got a little bit of a darkish area here. 
Uh, I'm going to get. I'm going to crop that off again. So let's do that. Let's go back into geometry. I want to crop that off. Dynamic crop again. I'm going to go into this far right option. Let's just get rid of that. I could probably keep it and try and reprocess it. But for now, let's just get rid of it. Hit the check mark again. Okay. Let's resize it. Now it's looking very good. And our our background here around the nebula looks a little darkish, greenish, so let's try and calibrate and come up with a, a smoother background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click this option here, which is the uh, preview button, and I'm going to pick an area in the background that doesn't really have many stars and maybe dark, maybe it's right here. I'll make a little box right there. That's what I want the background to, to look like. Now let's go back up into process, color calibration, and again, color calibration. And again, I'm not gonna change any features up here. I'm just gonna go down here to this reference image, click on the box to the right, and I'm going to select that little preview box we just created. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to come down to this box again and hit Apply and see if that changes anything. Hey, that looks pretty good. So now we've got a darker background. And let's remove the preview here by going up here and you'll see an option to delete preview. Let's get rid of that little box. And now we've got this, and it's, it's looking pretty good. But for now, we're still only halfway home. <clears throat> um, I'm going to take a break for a second, but I'll be right back, and I will continue from there. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. I needed a drink of water. But up till now, we have been working in that auto stretch preview mode so all of our changes are not permanent if we were to save the image now it wouldn't look like this it would look like that dark image we saw before but we've done a lot of the groundwork on the on the file so let's turn off this auto stretch mode with f12 and that's still unfortunately what our file looks like if we were to save it but now we're going to start making more permanent changes. So we're going to click on Process, Intensity Transformation, and Histogram Transformation. And from here, we want to click on this red, or, no, it's not a red circle, but just a circle. And this is a preview mode. And this is going to allow us to make some changes without updating our main image yet. So. What we want to do is, all I ever do in this is I click on this middle arrow here and I move it as far to the left as possible until I start to see something that resembles the nebula and the background. I think right there is good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So we're going to stick with that and now I'm going to click the, well let's close our preview. Now I'm going to click the square here to apply our changes to the main image. Okay, that's the file. If we were to save it now, that's what we're looking at. Not too bad. But right now, um, I think we can still make the background a little darker, maybe the nebula a little brighter. So let's go into Process, Intensity Transformation, and Curves Transformation. Again, let's click on this red, why do I keep saying that's a red circle? It's just a circle. <laughs> that's our preview button. And what you can do is you can play around with this, the line here. It's, it's the, what do they call it? The RGB gray channel. And let's take it up. No, taking it up makes it lighter. Let's take it down a little like that. Let's pick this up, makes our nebula a little brighter. Not too bad, huh? Yeah. But like I said, you could fine tune this 
for an hour until you really come up with something you're satisfied with. So let's just close the preview. All right, the preview is gone, and now let's execute it. Apply to our main image. And there's our dumbbell nebula. And if you were to save the image now, this is what it would look like. And from here, you can just go into File, Save As. If you if you think you're really done with the image, um, you, you can just save it as a, a JPEG if you want to share it with friends. Or if you still think you need to to do more work on it later, you, you, uh, I would suggest just shave, saving it off as a TIFF file. And then you can always come back to it. If you still have the raw image, you can make more changes to it later. And <clears throat> uh, there are so many more things you can do with this Pixen site. You can use unsharp mass to make it the image sharper. You can um, denoise it. But this was just a quick run through to show you how quickly you can get something that doesn't look half bad. I hope this helped. See you later.